Grace and peace, family. Grace and peace. This is your sister with the curly braids, the one and only Vicki Dillard. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a guest that I'm waiting on right now, Brother Ben X, uh, to come on so we can have a discussion with you today. Uh oh, it looks like this is him, Brother Ben X. In the digital family i want you to be sure to share this live with at least five other people everybody please be sure to share this live with five other people c spin said will you marry me <laughs> bless your heart y'all are so funny bless your heart thank you beloved everybody be sure to share this live with five other people i just saw brother ben's name i thought i'm, I'm gonna I thought it was going to let me just add him, but Brother Ben, um, if you're hearing me, just. Oh, look at that. I see, look how fast that worked. I was sitting here just waiting, thinking I did something wrong. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. What's going on? Yes, yes. So excited to have you with us today. Everybody, again, share this live with at least five other people. Let them know that I'm on with our legend, our brother, the one and only, Brother Ben X. So we're so honored that you have joined us today, dear brother, uh, to have this uh, discussion um, about the impact of my webinars and specifically the upcoming uh, Ancestors Webinar 3. But first, how are you doing? I am doing Blacktastic. I love it. I love it. And uh, just 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 preparing on dropping this new digital real estate program and getting things going and um, you know helping businesses and things of that nature. Other than that, this is all about you today. We trying to see what them ancestor codes is like. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome! Well, thank you so very much. I'm so honored that you have joined us today, and thank you so much for coming on and doing this interview with me. So I'm just gonna take your lead. Okay, well, first, I wanted to talk about a little bit about your your past history on the webinars thus far. Uh, what have you spoken about already? What have they missed out on? Uh, what have the people uh, gathered and, and gained? And what's been the feedback from the people who have attended? Yes, such a good question. Well, first of all, this is my ancestors webinar three. So um this is our third installment and what um basically um i've been discussing um in the first two has to do with um the fact that our dna and also our rna we find we find has uh information in it right and one single cell has the blueprint brother ben to make the human body and so it's so complex. In fact, with the RNA, um, they call that basically like a messenger. It's not for no reason. I was explaining the fact that we were told that our DNA and so forth has to do with the color of our eyes, how tall we'll be, the color of our hair, and all that kind of stuff. But what we weren't told is the fact that there is also a spiritual and a vibrational blueprint that's attached to that. And so my first couple of webinars had to do with breaking down revelation about who we are and accessing this information that's stored in our DNA. And it's more than just the color of our eyes and the color of our hair and how tall we're going to be. There is uh, there's spiritual power. There are talents and gifts that are locked on the inside of us. And so we went there and I had my dear brother, Terrain Hicks, um, who's a, a, a master teacher, master spiritual teacher. He did a very powerful meditation to actually activate our people so not only that this now that we're in part three what i want to really emphasize is i'm going to break down jewels of your terrestrial which means earth and your celestial which means out of space royal bloodline now this is going to be powerful this is going to be powerful and the feedback i've gotten so far is that folks have actually had dreams and visions of ancestors coming to them. Some folks um, have said that they have re uh, received restoration in their family. 
folks that didn't hear from their children in many years out of seemingly nowhere. Uh, they've heard from some of their children. Some folks have started businesses, received um, uh, favor and financial breakthrough and other such things. Folks during um, one of those webinars received a healing live while it was going on. Um, the testimonies, the breakthroughs uh, have been endless, uh, dear brother. And most importantly, and I'm generalizing this now, the overall feedback has been, it has increased and intensified their spiritual life and given them way more meaning, particularly when I break down the power of the altar, A-L-T-A-R, and how it alters A-L-T-E-R. Of course, we know the word altar, A-L-T-E-R, is another word for change, changes your life. So I'm really talking about your spiritual life, but this time I cannot wait to get into detail about your celestial bloodline. Let me ask you this. For those who may wonder when you say ancestral codes, what does that even mean? Break well, that down. absolutely. Some, when we think of the word ancestor, we automatically think of our physical or terrestrial, meaning earthbound ancestors. And I do mean those ancestors to a degree. Mm -hmm. But I take it further because the word ancestor is actually, brother, being a cold word for the vibration and the power that's in your blood. Now, let me help some of you. And I want to debunk and disabuse some of you that would be so misguided to call ancestral talk demonic or diabolical. Now, let me say this. You don't have to believe in ancestral uh, uh, reverence. You don't have to engage in it. You understand. But be very careful that you don't use blasphemous language because you don't know what it's about. Mm. Why do I say that? If I use, I see you London, I see you UK in the building. If I, Brother Ben, take traditional Christian, Judeo-Christian text on its face, a prima facie interpretation of a scripture, right? Watch this. Even if I look, uh, uh, even if I um, deal with certain parts of the Quran, right? If I deal with um, some of our Hebrew brothers and sisters, of course, um, and some of their beliefs, it is not at all strange for them to agree, watch this, and say this particular phrase, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Is that right? That's ancestral reverence. And it's not just the people of God in the scripture that said it. It was God himself that would come to the descendants of such individuals and say, I'm doing this. Y'all better hear me today. Because of my promises to your forefathers, your foremothers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So what was going on when God himself invoked such names? Don't play with it. I get into more detail doing my webinars to help you to understand exactly what God was even doing by invoking those names. The physical avatar or the physical body of Abraham and Isaac, depending on who they were talking about at the time, if it was Isaac, then it would have just been Abraham. If it was Jacob, then he would have invoked the name um, Abraham and Isaac. So what was going on that the Most High invoked the names of the so-called dead? I break all of that down. It's more than you know. And certainly you wouldn't call God someone that's blasphemous and engaged in satanic or diabolical activity because he himself invoked the names of their ancestors. Mm. There's something on the inside of you, Brother Ben. What I call this shadow government, a spiritual, metaphysical shadow government, a power that is beyond and greater than even the most powerful government of the United States, uh, the most powerful government that is said to be in the world, which is the United States of America. This shadow government, your spiritual family, is standing at the ready to assist us, watch this, with high gas prices. <laughs> Let me hit the gas on that. Mm -hmm. They're standing at the ready to assist us with white supremacy and anti-black racism. They're standing at the ready to help us with business ideas for protection for those demons and devils that would dare come against us. Whatever needs to be done, 
whatever problem or circumstance you find yourself in, and not just problems, Brother Ben, not just thriving, Brother Ben, they assist us with innovation. They assist us with creativity. Do you hear me? So this notion of ancestors, I got to say this quickly because I just got to notice that I've got a call coming up with my attorney <laughs> in just a few minutes. But I want to get here because in my Ancestor 3 family, by the way, this is coming up this Sunday. You only got a few days to register. My website is pinned below. And also, if you hit my Instagram page here, you will see the link in the bio. Get your seat today because I'm not just going to be breaking down principles. And not only is there going to be an exchange of power that I'm going to give you and release to you that has to do with protection for your family and activating gifts and sacred treasures on the inside of your royal bloodline terrestrially, terrestrially, but I'm going to get into Brother Ben Revelations about your cosmic and celestial bloodline. I'm going to share a supernatural experience that I had with messengers that's not from this realm, but they were part of my spiritual family. Why is this important, Brother Ben? The powers and the force that we're dealing with on earth is greater than what we're able to handle on our own. But we're the conductors of our lives. So that means that we can direct, y'all ain't hearing me today, we can actually orchestrate powers that are literally out of space, but that are actually connected to us. You will get the details when you register on purpose with Vicky.com. Go ahead, brother, if you have any questions for me. <laughs> I know you got your lawyer coming up, uh, so I'm going to ask a, a few more. Make sure y'all go to onpurposewithvicky.com and get ready for this powerful webinar on June the 26th. I want to ask you this question. From, from what you've seen um, and experienced, you say they, re they ready for us. The help is they're ready for us. So it ain't that they we wait on them to come to us. It's that that power is waiting on us to come. So what's what? stopping? What's stopping us from, from us being ready? What, what do you think is stopping us from being ready to receive the help that's on the way? First of all, you better preach, brother, number one. Number two, it's two things. We're ignorant that this power exists. And number two, we have been told it's satanic and demonic, you see. So you're not going to engage in something that you believe to be of the devil. And number one, who told you that? You see, the interpretation that we've been given of scripture, even if you look in the book of Luke, when it talks about the birth of Jesus, they go through an entire lineage. When you look at the book of Leviticus, when you look at the book of uh, Numbers and Deuteronomy, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, when you go through that, you can't even get to basic stories until you jump into through 20 and 30 family lines. Why is that? Let me say mm -hmm. this quickly. When you think about the Catholic Church, the Catholic Church is actually an offshoot of what's known as the Orthodox Church. For those of you that don't understand that, Jesus ordained 12 other disciples, right? We understand that Judas was tripping and later on it is said to believe that Paul, the apostle who had his Damascus Road experience after the ascension of Jesus. If you're talking about the traditional teaching of the story of Jesus, there's more to the story. But if we're going with the traditional Christian context of that story, we are set, we're told then that uh, 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 Paul is considered now to be the sort of de facto 12th disciple. Well, those 12 disciples are said to have been conferred power on, yes? And so in the Orthodox Church, those are the individuals that come off of that. Y'all hang out with me. I know this is wordy, but you need to understand this. They're saying that because of the laying on of hands and because of the power that he gave to those uh, uh, 12 uh, 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 disciples, which have, were actually apostles, called apostles later, had this unique power that they were given. Yes? Watch this. Now, I'm not going to break down the fact, the blood of Jesus. Lord have mercy. Y'all ain't ready for that royal bloodline. And what that means, you've got to come to my class to get that information. But this notion of the 12 disciples in the Orthodox Church, they have a record of an unbroken, what they call apostolic succession. That's the Church of the East. The Church of the West is what we call the Catholic Church. The difference between those two, the East and the West, is that the Eastern Church believes in a council of bishops. The West 
believes in a papal authority, which is the Pope. Why am I giving you that information? Because your Bible, those books that you now, Protestants, notice the word Protestant, the word protest is in Protestant. That was that group of people that protested against the Catholic Church. The book that you embrace as Bible, you only have because the Catholic Church, prior to that, the Orthodox Church, kept that book intact. So that particular book, if you're going to go with the traditions of the people that kept that book intact, they believed in what was called on laying on of hands and apostolic succession. They believed that you were able to confer unique power from person to person. I'm telling you, they got that idea from your divine melanin royal bloodline. Mm -hmm. They copy that succession of power that they say is passed down to do supernatural things from you. I'm going to break it down, but I'm also going to break down the celestial and cosmic energy that came to me. A messenger that's actually I found out that's a part of my family mm. that came to me, Brother Ben, before I did several years in the belly of the beast in a federal prison. While I was going through major breakthrough and I was dealing with enemies, Brother Ben, on the federal level, the state level, the local level. I was dealing with so-called friends and haters that turned against me because of the image and the shame that I was walking through. I went through divorce. I went through bankruptcy. I lost every home as a homeowner that I had, you understand. We were dealing with deaths in the family. And while everything was squeezing in on me during several years, over a several year period of time, this messenger came to me, my celestial family, and they gave me a code of how they were going to deal with my enemies. They gave me the heads up and I knew what was happening for the most part before it even took place. And they're speaking today and I want to give you that information. Not for you to be a copycat of me. Not for you to manifest Vicky's purpose, but so that you can manifest your unique purpose and get mm. you some gas money, get you some breakthroughs in your family, get you some wisdom, get you some business ideas. Somebody talk black to me. Whatever is necessary. This is the government that you appeal to to assist you in living the life of your dreams on earth as it is in heaven. And God forbid you fix your lips to call your own ancestors devilish and demonic. Be careful, even if you don't believe it. Yes, ma'am. So if you can give them again, uh, if they want to learn more and, and, and tune in to the class, the website, the time, and the location. So is it going to be on Zoom? Is it going to be, what? what is, give, give them the details of how they can get access. Yes, go to onpurposewithvicky.com. Get your seat today, secure your seat. You are going to, shortly thereafter, my, my team is going to send you a direct link. And um, all you need to do is click on that link, um, fill out your name. And I think it's just one other thing on there for Zoom. It's going to be a live virtual webinar. And it's going to be powerful. It's probably going to be about a couple of, uh, a couple of hours. Beloved, you better get ready, get ready, get ready. Let me say this right now. Miracles, signs, and wonders, breakthroughs always take place with my word. I boast in that because this information doesn't come from me. Brother Ben, I get this from the higher realm. So you don't need to listen to what I say. It's in the testimonies. It's in the signs and the wonders. And it's up to you. Let me say this very quickly. I heard this beautiful teachers say, Dr. Stacia Pierce say, that information changes the seasons of your life. Let me say that again. Information changes the seasons of your life. If you want something you've never had, you've got to do something you've never done, yes? And that's important that I say that because when you make yourself available to attend this cosmic DNA, this celestial royal bloodline webinar that for the most part you haven't heard before and you certainly haven't heard it the way I'm going to get it. I respect Brother Ben all spiritual systems and religions, but I know the unique message and information that I've been given to share and notwithstanding if there are similar words, how many of you all know we only use what, nine to ten digits to call anybody around the world? Is that right Brother Ben? Sometimes we may put another funny uh, 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 international symbol in front of it, but we all have to deal with the same 10 numbers. Is that right? Mm -hmm. The difference is the arrangement of those numbers. <laughs> God, this is so good. The arrangement of the numbers determines whether or not you access a particular individual. Is that right? 
So the mm. way I arrange it, God, today will determine whether or not you're going to get power for breakthrough. And if you do what I tell you to do, if you're consistent in the spiritual course I give you, you're not going to recognize yourself six, nine to 12 months. And that is for sure. So I respect and I bow to other religions, but baby, they don't have my arrangement to get you access for my unique assignment. So if you want something you've never had, you better do something you've never done. Make this investment in yourself. But let me go to onpurposewithvicky.com. The link is in the chat. Brother Ben, I thank you so very much for taking this time to share your platform, your audience, and most importantly, your time with me today. I hope to see you all there. This is absolutely life-changing. I can promise you that. And I don't have to... Brother Ben, let me say this. I don't have to share this information. I didn't grow up hearing these kinds of teachings like this. But when you go through what I've gone through, and when your assignment is my assignment, which, of course, I'm the only one that has that assignment. My assignment is about dealing with high-level entities and government powers and stuff. You got to have another kind of energy and a power with a different kind of information to withstand that kind of stuff. Your information can't be normal and just earthbound to have the effect that I was having at that time and that I'm going to have now, the seed that I was given to sow in those particular dimensions, those particular areas, those ideas didn't come from me. That was more than what I could handle. I was ready to give up the ghost. You hear me? <laughs> this is too much. This is crazy. But I had assistance from another realm. And what I'm trying to get you to understand is we're going through too much hell, too many difficult things for us to just deal with earthbound energies. We're here on earth. But there's an outer world and there's an outer world power that's available to you. And if I were you, I wouldn't miss your opportunity to get this information uh, and to receive this breakthrough on purpose with Vicky.com. I can't wait to see you there. All right. Well, thank you for allowing me on your platform as well. And uh, I look forward to hearing the feedback and the results and the transformation of those who learn the good that you are teaching. Thank you so much, dear brother. I'm honored. I bow to you. And thank you, dear family. Hit that link in my bio. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.